So an expired certification in Windows 11 has rendered many of the uh, built-in apps just useless. Let's talk about this. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who's always late to everything, Gardner. <laughs> And yeah, I'm a few days late to this uh, story, but you know what? I thought it was worth talking about because Microsoft really just is pretty incompetent when it comes to this kind of stuff, it seems, especially with the most recent releases of uh, Microsoft Windows. Now, this story actually applies to Windows 11 version 21H2. This isn't like an insider build. This is like the actual release of Windows, uh, and the expiration of this digital certificate has led to uh, many of the applications that are part of Windows 11 just simply not working anymore. In a statement, Microsoft said, quote, starting on November 1st, 2021, some users might be unable to open or use certain built-in Windows apps or parts of some built-in apps. This is caused by an issue with a Microsoft Digital Certificate, which expired October 31st, 2021. Now, there are a bunch of apps that are affected by the certificate expiration, uh, but the worst hit is actually the snipping tool. If you use Windows 8, 10, or 11, you'll know that uh, the snipping tool is actually a pretty nice utility for uh, taking screenshots or capturing uh, parts of a screen. It also is useful for marking up the uh, the screenshot that you've taken, you know, highlighting a certain area of the screenshot and, and whatever else. But it doesn't seem like this is a huge priority for Microsoft to fix this tool. Instead, they advised, quote, use the print screen key on your keyboard and paste the screenshot into your document. You can also paste it into Paint to select and copy the section you want. Too bad Microsoft retired Paint a couple years ago. <laughs> now, it kind of sucks for users who have a workflow that they've developed over the years that relies on the snipping tool, uh, and they end up not being able to use the snipping tool to get their work done. Um, this is for people who, you know, write documentation or have to pr do presentations and add like screenshots into a PowerPoint or whatever. But the fact is, while the snipping tool is the most widely affected uh, issue uh, with this expired certificate, there's a bigger problem at hand for a smaller user base. Anyone using Windows 11 S mode uh, is having issues managing their accounts, using their control panel, or even opening a start menu. Yeah a digital cert that expired at the end of last month is preventing users from accessing their start menu. How is that a thing, Microsoft? And at the moment, there's no fix for this. Microsoft hasn't issued a fix yet. Quote, we're working on a near-term resolution for the snipping tool and the S mode issues, and we'll provide an update when available. <laughs> But even that isn't all that's affected by the problematic certificate. The virtual keyboard, the voice typing and emoji panel are all broken in Windows 11, as well as the input method editor user interface, which, why? <laughs> and I think the best part of all of this is that the getting started and the tips application are both broken as well. I think that it's unforgivable that Microsoft has uh, broken the emoji input though. Uh, emoji input is has become like the critical uh, way of communicating today. Um, there is a fix for these uh, input methods. Uh, if you install KB5006746 um, you, and you do so manually, uh, it should patch these uh, some of these issues, but not all of them. It'll fix the typing and input methods and it looks like the getting started and tips app as well. And it's really fascinating to me because, you know, Microsoft has basically just released Windows 11 uh, and it's already having the same kind of uh, release issues that we've seen in other big updates to Windows in recent years. Um, just things breaking, uh, user data getting deleted and all these other things that, you know, Microsoft never used to have these kind of problems. What has changed at Microsoft? The leadership? the care uh, to, to make sure that things get tested before they roll them out. I mean, Microsoft, it seems, is taking all the wrong lessons from the AAA gaming market, release it broken, fix it later. And uh, it's horrible. It's a horrible thing to do to your customers. Um, but you know what? Windows 11 is free, uh, not free software. It's free as in price, which means that ultimately the product isn't Microsoft Windows. The product is you. 
Anyway, this was just a video of me gloating about how terrible Windows is. Uh, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know down in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, that's going to do it for now. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons who make what I do here possible, as well as my YouTube members. If it wasn't for these folks, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thanks, guys. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to help support this show, you can join Patreon or you can become a YouTube member using the links down below. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.